What's up everybody out there in YouTube world? This is Crispy Coil. Got a new video right now. I just got on eBay. I never messed with eBay before. I was always like not wanting to get ripped off. A lot of grimy people out there, some grimy, grimy, grimies trying to, uh, to come up on a dollar selling some bogus material, some fugazis. And uh, I bought a couple of things and I got hit with one fugazi. So let's get into it. I always go through my closet and look at the random stuff, and I'm not going to get into these because I think I already showed a couple of them, but, uh, you know, the stuff that you might have worn once, like, uh, like this pair of dunks on the outlet. I'll never wear them again. You know what I mean? Why would I ever, I don't know, whatever. That was that review right there. Anyway, this is the, this is the pickup that I'm really happy about. <laughs> yeah, Brown Brown Cleveland joint. I love it. Authentic. I did make sure that it was uh it was real. Um, I got it for like twenty six dollars. Uh, naturally, it doesn't play there anymore, and they are going to a Revolution Thirty jersey. So this is one of the older ones, man, and I'm really happy with it. I will rock this with pride. I love when he was in Cleveland. I love what he did there. I'm a big LeBron fan, a bigger fan when he was here, but you know I'll still rep this jersey, man. I love it. I love the colors, and I love the. I wanted to order stuff from eBay that was that was cheap at first because I didn't want to get ripped off. I wanted to like you know get my rep up on the site, get some some feedback so people would fuck with me, that kind of thing. So this is what I did. We got Simon Gratz. Big shout out to Rashi Wallace. Back in '93, I was a senior in high school, so love that jersey. Sheed, big fan of Sheed. Alright, so right here, Zippo, iridescent color, not a steel joint, anyway, works, <laughs> now I got this at Best Buy, love 80's movies, Ghostbusters, one of my favorites, my man Slimer and them, Stay Puff, my boy from back in the day, Zool, you know the deal, anyway, classic movie man, classic, love that movie, not really into comic books, but uh, so this one on there, uh, Superman. What happens if Superman crashed in Russia instead of America? Ill, Ill concept. So I'm gonna check this out, man. Anybody read it? Leave me a comment. I'm into all kinds of things. You know what I mean? I'm a well-rounded type of individual. All right. This is a box from an Air Jordan that I had from back in the day. It's an 18. I thought the 18 was in there, and then I opened it up. And to my dismay, I had a pair of 14s that I had from the Nike outlet in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where the Amish dwell. Now, the Amish don't know jack about Jordan, so you can get these up at the Nike outlet up there for, like, really cheap. And I remember these were the only one there, and I got them for, like, a steal. Um, you know, cut top box. Everybody knows about the cut top boxes. Um, yeah. So, uh, Jumpman Bostic, man. Big ups to Jumpman Bostic. Legend in the J game. Got like 659 pairs of sneakers. And he looks out for people, man. Took a dude's shoe. Brought it to the shoe dude to fix it. And, like, told him he would buy it. Just a good all-around individual. Big ups to, to Bostic, man. Always been watching his videos. A true gentleman in the shoe game. Anyway, what happened to Nike with these, uh, metal, Jordan with these metal tip laces? Did they forget how to do that, or, like, are they not into that anymore, can they not afford it, is Mike, like, on welfare, could he not hook that up anymore, it's a small touch that they don't do anymore, you know, that makes me heat it, alright, alright, we already did the jerseys, alright, Lids, I told you before, Lids was having a crazy, crazy deal, $15 hat, this is my second shipment of hats, first $15 hat, I think they called us the Griffin, they do freshly fresh goods Friday up there at Lids, right? So you can get hats for for real cheap. And uh, this is my first one. Not a big Nationals fan. It is what it is. You see the gold, chrome. It has a shiny uh, New Era flag on the side. Genuine merchandise, seven and five eighths. I mean, I'm not a really big fan of the Nationals, but you know what I mean? I'll fuck with that hat. Alright. Phillies, my favorite Phillies hat of all time. 7 and 5 eighths. 
naturally it's got all the bells and whistles, cool bass. Just this is one they wear with their uh, cream colored uniform, like the throwback tip. You got the authentic joint, cool bass. You know the whole deal, guys. I'm not gonna get into that. Anyway, it's one of my favorite Phillies hats. My favorite hat of the bunch, the Colt 45, all black with white. Simple hat, goes good with everything. Can't wait to take these stickers off. I know that hurts people's feelings when that happens, but I don't wear stickers on my hats, people. They're meant to be worn. That's meant to be taken off. That's to show you what size it is. It's not a, it's not a statement. It's laziness. Anyway, Cooperstown on the bottom. This is a Cooperstown dip, naturally, because this team does not exist anymore, but love the hat. Another $15 hat, Tampa Bay Digi Camo. It's got the digital camo. Worries with the cool grays if I feel like it. I'm no gentleman. Alright. You get the black on the bottom. This is uh, not 100% wool. I believe this is a... It's a poly mixture. I love poly mixture hats like that and that. This is 100% wool. But yeah. Tampa Bay Rays. Can't go wrong. Uh, Alright. So we got the four hats. The two jerseys. The old school pair of 14s and the 20 box randomly. And uh, corny dunks that I had from the Nike outlet. Alright, that's pretty much it. Everybody, thanks for watching my video as usual. I really appreciate it. Big shout out to, uh, to Mighty Mouse from Philly. I'm trying to get into the Jersey game. I'm new to this thing. Uh, Throwback King, love, love the videos that dude does. Shows sneakers sometimes. Just a well-rounded uh, collection that dude has. Uh, I really, really, uh, you know, I like their stuff, man, and, uh, it's got me in the jerseys, and, uh, I did get ripped off, I bought a LeBron James number six Miami Heat in black, and it was just so phony, like, the stitching was all mangled, and it was a really cheap price, and I should have known, like, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, and it was, so I went right to the post office, so heated, ramming, writing down dudes and in information, and I put it right back, so that'll be coming in your mailbox, homie, uh, I'm not trying to handle that, I don't want it, and, um, PayPal, you will be hearing from dudes soon, hopefully, because if not, I will drive to Indianapolis and knock on dude's door, like, you know, whatever, actually, I won't, but, all right, everybody, thanks, if you have any, uh, info on eBay, how to not get ripped off, what to look for, how to build up good feedback. I only got one feedback from dude who sold me this. And it was 100% good. So everybody, thanks for watching. I think I already showed these before. So, yeah, a pair of Air Forces and a pair of, uh, looks like 23s. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Signing out from Philadelphia. It's your boy Crispo. Peace.